What's going on, Jets fans? Got an update on the Jets coaching staff situation. If you appreciate that, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it. So, Michael Four out yesterday, and the Jets have gone ahead and pretty much cleaned house offensively. We knew that a lot of the offensive assistants probably were not long for this uh, regime change. You know, if you're going to bring in a new offensive coordinator, you probably want to let that guy pick his guy. So, John Benton, offensive line coach, he's out. A wide receivers coach, Miles Austin, he's gone. Uh, defensive line coach, assistant coach, Scruggs, uh, he's gone too. Don't know what that's about. The defensive line played pretty well this year. And there was one report that said Calabrese was gone, quarterback coach. Another report saying that he's still here. You got to imagine you let a new offensive coordinator pick their QB coach. So I wouldn't be surprised if Calabrese is relieved of his Jets duties as well. And I don't know. I, I, to me, I'm not like celebrating. I, I don't feel as though all the Jets problems and woes are going to be better with some new offensive staff members. To me, the upgrades at offensive line and quarterback are going to make a much bigger difference than the offensive coaching staff. Personally, I'm not saying coaching doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not saying that maybe we get an upgrade at OC, hopefully. But to me, the quarterback and the offensive line are going to go a much further way. I think even if we ran it back with Mike LaFleur, with those upgrades, the offense could probably be fine, but I can't sit here and be shocked or surprised or be adamantly defending a Mike LaFour and the offensive staff. Like coaches around the league have been fired for a lot less. Uh, so you know, could Mike LaFleur have done a better job? Yes. If AVT and Brees don't go down uh, or Zach Wilson plays better or Mike White stays healthy, you know, we probably <laughs> are are beating Miami and making it to the playoffs, and we're not talking about any of this. But those are just ifs and buts, man. That's the way it went. And when you end the season not scoring a touchdown in your last three games, uh, maybe that's too much recency bias, but it is what it is. That's the way the NFL goes. And the Jets were really, in my opinion, in terms of like a media reaction, kind of in a lose-lose situation. Because if they keep LaFleur, it's, oh, we have low expectations. What are we doing? We're just going to run it back. Robert Sala's keeping his buddy. It's nepotism. LOL Jets, right? Then you fire LaFleur and it's, wow, the, the turnstile continues. Musical chairs, no continuity. You're blaming Mike LaFleur for your bust quarterback. LOL Jets. So either way, you know, you could have had an anti-Jets take on it and the national media is always going to do that. Um, eh. I feel like we'll get a new offensive coordinator. It'll probably be like a lateral move or a slight upgrade. But to me, the biggest question mark is who's throwing the football and who's blocking for that dude. To me, that matters more than the coach. But let me know your takes on it down below. And hey, Carl Lawson, should we cut him? Eh, I'm kind of torn. Let's discuss that down below and we'll talk football soon.